Hello everyone and welcome to this dinkum guide about how to fish in the game, catch lobster, scraps, etc. And about some of the dangers when fishing alone. But first let's talk a bit about what dinkum is. Dinkum is a new early access indie game on Steam. You can play it single player, but also multiplayer with friends if you want to. It is very similar to Animal Crossing with its art style and interacting with the world. You can get licenses to do certain jobs like mining, foraging, animal husbandry, farming, but also, of course, fishing. Now let's get into the guide itself. How does fishing work? Once you have obtained the fishing license from Fletch, you can go to John's stand or shop, depending on how far you are in the game, and you can go ahead and buy the fishing rod. Then just go over to the nearest water source, look for some fish in the water, and cast your line a little bit by just left clicking. Or if you want to cast it further away into the water, you can also hold left click slightly to charge it and throw it slightly further and further and further depending on how long you charge it. Then when you cast it close to a fish they might swim towards it. First they will nibble on it a little bit and when you see and hear the water splashing then you just left click to start the mini game. It can be slightly hard at first to uh, get the timing right on that splashing sound and uh, start the mini game itself but once you've done it once or twice you'll get the hang of it. After initiating the minigame, at first you don't do anything, the fish will try to swim away, it's startled and it will start swimming away and splashing away. Do not reel in at this point, because if you do, you will see a uh, sort of a stamina bar on the right side of the screen that goes down. And that is basically either your line breaking or uh, just losing the fish. So instead of doing that, wait for the fish to calm down a little bit. Once it has stopped splashing and swimming away, once it has stopped, then you reel it in and you keep going until it starts swimming away again. If it starts to swim away again, stop reeling in and repeat the last steps until you have finally caught it. So that's it for the fish. Now if you also see some lobsters or crabs on the ground or other critters, I don't know how many there are in the game just yet, but if you see something on the bottom of the river, then just jump into the water. You can uh, press E to dive into the water if it's deep enough. And then swim over to whatever creature you see lurking around out there. And then right click to pick it up. It really is that simple. A final word of warning, there are also crocodiles and sharks in the game, so be careful around those. Cro crocodiles can get on land, so they are slightly more dangerous than sharks. Just make sure for sharks that you only walk on land or in the shallow water. But do not dive into the deeper water where you can swim. Because then the shark will immediately come for you. They do not instantly kill you. They do hurt a little bit. Uh, but you can survive one or two attacks for sure. I hope this video was helpful to you all. If it was, then please don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment. And please let me know if there's something else you want explained. Hope you have a wonderful day and good luck fishing.